Laura, so today's lecture revolved around one um, main question. Why does using the internet have any impact at all on political engagement? And that the internet has a positive effect on political participation might sound like a truism. After all, we've been hearing um, about the democratizing potential of the internet for two decades now. The truth is that we don't really know that much about what happens um, online when users are online that will contribute to increase their engagement. And so what we did in today's lecture was to talk about what we know. And in particular, we considered the, uh, the role that social networks and online interactions um, play in increasing users' engagement on the political process. So the lecture was structured in three parts. Uh, in the first part, we considered the uh, self-selection effect. So the internet might be multiplying the channels for political participation, but at the end of the day, it's up to the users to decide if they want to make use of those channels. Um, so the first question we considered is who is online and who is um, being politically active. Um, and um, what the data tells us is that um, the vast majority of internet users actually go online for entertainment purposes and only a small minority of those users engage in politically relevant activities. So online as offline being politically active is just the inclination of, of a few. During the second part of the lecture we moved on to uh, consider the association between being an internet user and being um, politically active offline. And here the evidence is rather scarce and, um, and quite diverse in terms of how offline political engagement is um, measured. So some studies uh, use some form of institutional form of political participation like um, voting or um, attending a party meeting or uh, donating money to a political party. Some other studies measure um, political engagement as some form of non-institutional uh, form of political participation, and that's joining a demonstration, signing a petition, or just talking politics with friends. Now, in spite of the um, diverse research designs that all these studies follow, most of them show that there's a positive association between being an internet user and being politically active offline. What these studies do not illuminate that much is the actual mechanisms that mediate this association between being um, online um, and being politically active offline. And it is these mechanisms what we consider during the third part of the lecture. Research on the political effects of the internet have usually implied three types of mechanisms, either on their own or in interaction with each other, um, that try to explain why there's this association between being online and being active politically. One of those mechanisms refer to access to information and exchange of information. And here the story is that uh, the internet allows users to be more exposed to a, a more diverse set of sources of information. And that builds on their self of political efficacy, which in turn, in turn will make them more likely to be engaged politically. The second type of mechanisms refers to public discussions and deliberation. And here again, the argument is that the internet is allowing users to access a diversity of forums for public, uh, for, for public discussion, and that allows them to improve their skills as citizens, um, and that in turn will also boost their sense of political efficacy and make them be more engaged. The third type of mechanisms, which is often implied um, and is related to the other two, refers to the social interactions and the uh, social networks that people build, that internet users build online. And here the story is that, again, the internet is allowing them to engage in a diversity of associations and that will make them also be more interested in politics offline. So what we did in the third part of the lecture was to consider these three mechanisms in the context of three empirical studies that um, analyze political discussions in different online platforms. And although these studies refer to different online platforms and they cover different time periods, they provide consistent evidence that social interactions activate mechanisms of social feedback that are necessary for users to remain engaged and committed to those discussions. In other words, once you start analyzing what people do online, you realize that the relevant variable is not so much being an internet user, but rather what kind of interactions those users build while they are online. So what makes certain online communities be more successful than others when it comes to activating those uh, mechanisms for social feedback and promote political engagement is a question with no definite answer. And um, hopefully what I tried to do with this lecture was to spark the curiosity of students and motivate them to try to find answers on their own. <laughs>